what is up you guys it's y'all spiritual fairy godmother and i am back okay i am back with another read so let's go ahead and jump right into this 9 10 energy okay spirit what messages do you have for my collective god let, 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 let's run that bit okay let's start that over god <laughs> Spirit, Ascended Masters, Ancestors, Soul, Family. What messages do you have for my collective today? Oh, everything keeps flipping back over. It's like it want to come out, but it's not. So this is like preparing for something, but it's like something that you're not maybe ready for. Like you keep asking for it, praying for it. Maybe you're not ready. Um, or maybe you think you're not ready. That's the thing. You think you're not ready. You're spending days, nights, five, five. Okay, like you're spending all night up. You know, stressed about this, worried about this. Oh, my nose is a mess, okay? This is like noticing the small things, noticing things about yourself, noticing things about the people around you, but not allowing it to bog you down, not allowing it to hurt you, hurt your feelings, make you feel some type of way, take things personally, okay? Whatever somebody is doing to you, or there's a lack of somebody doing for you, okay, in your relationship or your connection, whatever the case may be, okay, this could even be your employees, if they're not doing enough, baby, this is like getting new employees, okay, you've been promoted to my elite employee, yeah, so this feels like letting go of the anxiety when it comes to some love life type situation, okay, for sure, this could be somebody you got a kid with, don't have to be. This could be somebody who wants kids with you. Somebody could be looking at you like you real fertile, okay? Like, it's harvest season. Like, it's time to get you pregnant. If not, get you pregnant, okay? This is feeling like it's time for you to give birth to something. If not, give birth to something, okay? This is time to bring some money in. This is time to bring in success or bring in something that's going to, like, make you feel good. That's going to be comforting to you. Unlike... Unlike this Ten of Wands, unlike this energy. What's today, you are? 19, September 10th. Ah, okay, yeah, because we got that 9 that came out first, and then we got that 10, okay? So the 9 to the 10, that's a completion. That is an ending, okay? So this is kind of giving me no longer worrying about the stress or no longer allowing the stress to make you feel some type of way. Yeah. You know, this is no longer like looking around at your life and like being ungrateful or having an attitude or like feeling some type of way or just being nervous. It's like, what are you scared for? There's a whole world out there. Like, I don't care about what Jimmy, Timmy and Ty did to you. I'm not saying I don't care. Let me take that back. I don't mean that I don't care. What I mean is that I don't have the energy to pour into that right now. So it's not that I don't care. I'm saying that wrong and I shouldn't say that my bad, okay? It's just that sometimes there are other things that you have to care about. There are other things that you have to put into motion. There are other things that you have to make happen in order for, you know, success to come true, in order for success to be your reality. You have to let go of all the hurt feelings and, you know, this may not be a time for a relationship and maybe that's what you're stressed out about. Maybe you're sad that you're not in a relationship because you got plenty of responsibilities and you like, dang, I need somebody to pick these kids up. I need somebody to go to the store. I forgot the asparagus. I forgot the lemon, but I can't leave the baby here. I can't leave these kids here. This kid ain't old enough. It's like you got all this stuff on your mind, okay? If you're a boss, if you're a CEO, if you are the project manager, if you're just the manager, period, like whatever. You could have a high up position, you could have a low position, it don't matter. But if you're finding yourself overworked because your employees or because your coworkers, like they're making you overcompensate for what they're supposed to be doing at that point it's like time to stop stressing yourself out about it give their responsibility to somebody else this is called this is called delegating delegating okay give give the work somewhere else make your kids do them chores teach them how to cook teach them how to be self-sufficient so that when they're older they're not relying on a relationship or a partnership 
when it comes to handling their own responsibilities this is them being able to do it on their own this is you raising good children or raising not raising but like teaching maybe you're a teacher you know this could be you teaching employ teaching people how to do something this could be you being a professor this could be you having a higher up position a librarian where you're teaching people about books or about where to find this or where to you know this feels like you do have a little bit of responsibility you know you do have something plaguing you where it's like it may be hard it may be frustrating but you are not out for the count like you not you're not out the game you haven't lost you know all these swords all the shit that was stressing you out is being turned into communication. It's being turned into literally like responsibilities. So yeah, you're stressed out about your room, but you got a crib. Yeah, you're stressed out about your car, no, but you got a car. Yeah, you're stressed out about getting your kid to daycare on time, but guess what? You got a kid. Some people can't have kids, okay? You able, even if you can't do it that day, you able. You got legs, you got eyes, you got ears, you got, like, you, you able. This is like being appreciative of being able-bodied. This is being appreciative of just being yourself. However, however you move, how you move, and when you move, when you move, how you move, what you move, when you move it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This feels like the reason why you're feeling so much responsibility is because it's your time. I thank God because it's my time. Okay, man, I swear them jobs was hard to find okay so this monaleo like this feels like maybe having a little bit of social anxiety maybe having a little bit of anxiety about whatever this new phase of life that you're about to go into maybe you're about to give birth maybe you just had a baby you know maybe you're about to go to school for the first time maybe your child is going to school for the first time going to daycare for the first time maybe you're dating another gender for the first time you know like maybe you're moving to a new city a new state Maybe you just get a new job, okay? You around new people, new energy, okay? This just feels like, yes, you have anxiety a little bit, right? But this feels like adapting and adjusting to your new reality and no longer seeing it as anxiety, but just seeing it as, hey, I gotta get up. I gotta make it happen. Fuck the anxiety, fuck the worries, fuck the stress. Like, it's like, I'm good. I got this. I can do this. Like, with God behind me, right? It's like, you may not see God in a picture, but God is there. You holding all that up by yourself? Like, nah, God got you. There's an invisible string lying around something. I'm hearing the invisible, the red string theory, invisible string theory. Like, some of y'all are coming into contact with somebody that you didn't even know that she was going to end up with like that, but you with them like that, okay? This could be your best friend. She could be 40. You could be 26. Y'all could be BFFs, okay? This could be somebody of another race. This is giving, like, a difference of a spirituality, a difference of religion, a difference of opinion, a difference of looks, hairstyle, like whatever you know this to me feels like don't stress it just allow yourself to enjoy it okay if you called into work don't don't stress all day take the day off okay like it's okay if you miss out on something if you couldn't go with your friends if you couldn't go to this couldn't go to that like it's okay this is not stressing about the things that you feel obligated to do. You're not obligated to do anything. Yes, you're obligated to pay your rent. Yes, you're obligated to put gas in your car. Yes, you're obligated to love your kids. But even that, like, it's like, <laughs> I don't gotta have a crib. I don't gotta have a car. And I don't have to love my child. No judgment. But this is kind of like doing things on your own terms and it working out in your favor, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Share it on all your other social medias. And I'm out of here, you guys. Peace.